So this is a graduation dress I made originally obviously to graduate in but due to COVID and stuff I just never ended up walking the stage with it also realizing that I had no idea what bustles are so I didn't know how I would actually physically walk in it. So this dress was designed to be high-waisted I wanted a really elegant um, classy kind of wine red gown skirt thingy the train is like one and a half meters long it spreads out to the back so I started off this dress by ordering a cheap underskirt from eBay so there's a lot of different styles I obviously didn't want it too princess gown poofy I just wanted to keep it a little bit classy so I went for like a normal kind of tiered I don't even know what that material is for what's called like net I don't know um, kind of underskirt with like a last size waist so I designed the entire gown following typical wedding style gowns on Adobe Illustrator just using like geometry and measurements figuring out how they, how they would lay down flat I printed it all out on A4 papers and office words glued them together and made the pattern I um, used a really cheap kind of party satin I don't really like the, the kind of material but it worked for an experiment kind of gown that's the waist um, sash belt thing that you're looking at right now I did end up using that because it didn't work out to be honest So I messed up because I realised I had to add a horsehair braid hem for the bottom of the dress so I forgot that I needed to add a lining to this dress so I used up random pieces of cotton material that I had at home, like a real cheapo kind of style and just put the pads on top of that and did that. Here I'm showing the box pleats I put in. I didn't have enough material to do the amount of pleats that I wanted, so I just managed to do I think two on the center front and then two on the center back pieces. For the waistband, I used two layers of the material for the front and back and two layers of canvas kind of drill, which is like a really thick kind of material. I think would be really nice to strengthen the waist and it did really well. It was kind of too tight to be honest, but I think it was really good for a really like budget kind of material for the waist. This is how it was looking. Um, when I just did it like really choppy, there was no like finished sewing on the waistband to the gown. It was just kind of like basted together, no finish on the bottom. It was a little too big for the mannequin because I'm bigger than the measurements of the mannequin, but yeah. So I messed up the zipper pretty badly. I had no idea how the waistband was supposed to overlap in my head because none of this was designed properly. It just kind of made it as I went through it, so it sits a bit awkwardly. And it, I don't even think if it's straight to be honest, but it does the job and I hope no one was looking too closely. I didn't even surge or use my overlock. I haven't even opened my overlock because I have no idea how to use it. So all like the extra bits are still on the actual finished dress because I just don't really know how to finish it properly. So there is a lot of like awkwardness to this gown. There's like this open awkward bit that didn't sew down. The zipper kind of worked. There's like openness on the waistband. I didn't really know how to finish. I kind of folded the other side in, but I don't remember if I, I think I just forgot to do it on the other side. So it's kind of really messy. I used two centimeter black buttons for the waistband. I should have probably used red, but I kind of just wanted to contrast it. I used my new Janome sewing machine, machine that I got recently. Um, it's got all these nice stitches, so I get to use the buttonhole for the first time, and thank god they worked out quite fine. I used a white one at the beginning, which kind of ruined everything, but it worked out okay. So the buttons sat kind of okay. I just put the buttons down where I measured it. So I measured the waistband on myself and then figured out how tight I needed it to be to sit on my body. And then I just put the buttons on and kind of just figured out where the buttonhole should go. So I had to hand stitch a lot of this horsehair braid, it kind of killed me um, to the bottom so I just rolled up the hem and then made sure to hand stitch the braid to the lining so nothing would be visible on the outside which, which was a really like you know big experiment for me, it worked out so I was pretty happy with that but it would just goes to show how much effort it takes to actually make some of these gowns. Um, looking back, I'll probably never make something this big. I'll, in a gown, I would like make a nice circle skirt, but not one with a train. It's just ridiculous the amount of effort it takes. It's annoying. So with the underskirt and the dress on top, I think it worked out quite well. It looks really pretty. It looks quite simple and classy. You can see the ribbing on the back that I messed up. Um, I was finishing the center back, but it does the job. I, this is a kind of skirt that I envisioned in my head, and it worked out quite nice. So I think I did an okay job. So this wasn't just supposed to be a skirt, it was supposed to have a white, like a nice creamy lace um, sweetheart neckline bodice, whatever thing calls it, on top. I didn't really figure out how to make that. Um, I tried to, it just sat awfully on me. I didn't want to look at it ever again. It looked terrible. I didn't really know how to use a bodice block. The lace was puffing up when I sewed it. I hated it, but I included this to show you that I did make an attempt. To 